Hey guys, Ryan123 here, and today I am back with another RPG tutorial. And today I am on my Lord of the Rings RPG um, because I wanted to show you. I mentioned this in the leaderboard episode, but I wanted to show you the scripted dialogue. So the only one on this set of choices that is scripted is the Can You Heal Me? Um, everything else is preset, but. Um, basically, I just want to show you that it works, so I'm going to come over here to my player character, and I am going to find his humanoid, and we are going to take down his health a little bit, so that he's only at 50%, and then I will ask him to heal me. And as you can see, we are restored to full health. So, obviously, there are many, many, many po um, possibilities with this. Um, for example, in my other game, I have one where after you get done talking to a guy, you get teleported somewhere and a checkpoint is saved. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, so, in this video, I'm just going to show you the basics of it, and hopefully you guys can figure out the rest. If not, feel free to message me on Roblox or leave a comment down below, and I will be glad to help you with anything you might be wanting to do with this trick. But let's go ahead, and I'm going to um, stop testing this, and we can jump into the script and how everything's set up. Hey guys, so here we are, and we're just going to go head real quick and we're just gonna take a look at the script so here we are in our area <laughs> I don't know um, so we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at this model that's not the right model so basically he's just set up like a normal guy of course but inside here is where the magic happens so let's just like you can see it's set up like a normal dialogue with your dialogue and your choices um, but where the real stuff happens is in the here script which is actually not the most complex script in the world so basically this is the call to action or whatever um, it just says when dialogue this is called when a new dialogue choice is selected so when the player selects one of the choices down in the bottom left of the screen, this is thrown, and in this case it will be, it will call the heal function. And inside there are two parameters, or like variables, it will be the player, so the player that chose the dialogue option and their choice. And then, so we say if their choice, if the choice's name was heal, then it heals the player very simple um, so basically all you have to do is make sure that whichever dialogue choice you want to do something it has to be named distinctly from the others so that you can identify it here and you can basically do whatever you want in here you can heal them teleport them whatever um, I will let you guys figure all that out um, but if you do need help with something specific that you'd like your dialogue choices to do, just post a comment and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Um, and I would love to help as long as it's not too complicated and I can fit it in a comment or so. Because I don't think I'm going to make a whole video unless I find it really interesting. But um, anyways guys, yeah, thanks for watching. I know today's tutorial was pretty short. But it should just help give your RPG that extra little thing it might need. And like more interactive dialogue. And so thanks for watching. Be please be sure to hit that subscribe button for more RPG tutorials. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And post a comment down below with any questions or suggestions. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Goodbye.